Well met travellers, today we're going to be unboxing Centipede, the big box. I, um, you may notice that it's sealed, I'm just going to point this out straight away. I have a theory that it's a reseal because it's kind of loose. Um, and also, well we'll get on to why, the other reason why I think it's a reseal later on. Anyway, here we go, Centipede, it's got kind of an ugly cover art actually. With these really goofy looking monsters on the front, look at this guy. Uh, I assume it's, it's either developed or published by Atari or Hasbro Interactive. I'm guessing Atari developed it and Hasbro published it because um, Hasbro, also, Has Hasbro also published another few arcade games made for PC. Yeah. Well, I'm sure we'll uh, find out at some point. Look, we've got a picture of the classic centipede in the background because yes, this is a remake of the centipede game from the 80s. Yeah, 80s. Will have been 80s, won't it? Side of the box, nothing of interest. Top and bottom, just black. And the other side, nothing of interest. Not even any um, system requirements. Oh, wait, they're there. Okay, let's have a gander then. We've got this ugly guy again with his massive chin. Giant centipedes are raining terror and destruction on the world of we Weedom. Weedom! Let's continue. And only you can stop them. Battle through the land in your custom-built fighting machine. Oh, that sounds interesting. Defending villagers from an onslaught of creepy... Cre uh, let's move on. Rescue the stranded we... Oh, I've had enough. All right, let's, let's finish it. Destroy the violence into prison for you. All right, then. Uh. Right. Here's the other reason why I think it's a reseal. See this stain here? It's possibly part of the box art, but I can't see any other stains. The rest of it looks quite clean and colourful, so... I have a feeling that somebody's sort of damaged this and then thought, Oh yeah, I'll reseal it and sell it to someone, because look, this uh, top corner's a bit knack as well. Knack? I mean knackered. Fast action, real-time shooter. Why is this typeface? It's ugly. Multiplayer script, split screen action, 30 missions across 5 unique environments, multiple views from top down to first person and even, oh, and over the shoulder, not even over the shoulder. Reminds me of um, Space Invaders Invasion Day for the PS2, which is a game that distressed me when I was young because it had a lot of blood in it. I've since grown up. <laughs> Explosive music score including 16 techno tracks. 90s games and techno tracks don't exactly bode well. I'm guessing it's going to be similar to the uh, Tank Racer soundtrack and not anything like the Payday 2 soundtrack, which is fantastic if you're into techno stuff. Anyway, reseal, which means I can open it with impunity and not worry anybody at all. Out comes the Knife of Justice. Again, I'm going for this top corner because that seems to be the loosest section. Yeah. There we are. Hopefully I haven't ruined the box. Probably put that knife away as well before it stabs something by accident. Oh, this, yeah, this is coming off way too easily to be an official seal. So, I'm guessing. Yeah. Reseal, reseal, reseal all the way. I hope it is. Oh, unless I'm an idiot. Put it over there with the box stuff. So, yeah, we've got this slightly knackered corner. So, what is this? Uh. I was trying to work out whether this stain is actually a stain or whether it's part of the box art. Mm. You see, it doesn't seem to go over the top of the screenshot, but and I can't really feel it. I can't feel anything there. Uh, I'll have to take it down to forensics, won't I? Oh, we forgot to check the minimum system requirements. I'm sure these will be taxing by today's standards. Oh uh, yeah, I won't be able to run it on my app either. What a tragedy. I don't know why I keep doing that when I'm in box. I'm going to end up ruining them. Okay, this has the really nice um, box design of being a slipcase over a uh, normal box. And it's got the Hasbro Interactive logo, which is uh, kind of weird actually, isn't it? And that opens a lot easier than V2000 did. Yep, here's the registration card. Why did all the games have these? I mean, I know it's for marketing purposes. Oh, it's a free prize draw. Free. What kind of smells? No instructions? I guess it's 98, so um, I suppose this was in between, like, well, it was just, just before 
games started to ditch the big box and uh, go for just jewel cases. Sad time. Also, the inside of this box does not look new at all. It's got bits in it. That's I don't know. That is definitely not new steel. Uh, no fingerprints on the actual disc though. Hmm. And there we have the game and this goofy looking creature. Yep, the game is again quite wonky. Let's have a look at the back of it actually. Oh yeah, it's got some flecks of stuff on it. And this has been used. Why? Surely it costs a lot to reseal it. It wasn't even that expensive this game. It was like seven quid. So why why go to the length to reseal it if you're just going to sell it for a cheap price anyway? Surely resealing is quite expensive. <sighs> Anyway, take this disc out and put it in my uh, big wallet, which is running out of room. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching, and cheerio!